Uh, welcome to the Mellow Bar for uh, No Way Out, the press conference for No Way Out. Uh, Stephen Jennings beats Eddie Matthews for the British Masters lightweight title. And the Green Bank Legends Centre on the 30th of July. Everyone was saying to me, why, why have you took the fight? Why? It's a big, a big chance, but it's a big chance to make a mistake. And if I, I, I realise that if I get beat, Stephen goes on to bigger and better teams from this. I think I can go far. Uh, and, you know, we'll see in the next couple of next year or so, we'll see how far I am. But, you know, I just want to look forward to the 30th and, and do the job. You know, my last two fights I've won in one round, um, so I've got to do it some rounds, and that's why I've, I've jumped at the chance. As soon as the fight got cancelled, the Gavin Reese one, because he damaged his hand, I spoke to Stephen within half an hour and said, let's get this fight back on it. I could do it getting some rounds in, and, you know, at the end of the day, it's just another fight where I've got to take, and at the end of the day, if I don't win it, I don't fight Gavin Reese, so I've got to take Stephen very... As one of the best fights out there, and I've trained very hard for him. I've got nothing to lose. I've got Everton's again, and I'm going in there 100%, and I know I'm going to do the job. If he wants to have a fight, I'll have a fight, but I've got a lot of respect for Steve, and I've known him for a long time. Um, he's a good fighter. He's on the way up, and, and I'm, I feel I'm at the top of my game. And I say, I've got to take one fight to come. I'm going to deal with Steve. If you, I say, if it's going to be a boxing lesson for 10 rounds, it'll be a boxing lesson, but knock him out one round, and knock him out, but I just know I'm going to win the fight. I'm very experienced as an amateur, but I've had over under fights, so to be honest with you, I think I'm ready. But you know, time will tell, and we'll see on the 30th. You've obviously boxed each of those amateurs. Just give me your recollection of the, of the three, three battles. I, I, won, I won all three, but it was a long time ago. Um, you know, when we were amateurs, and it's, just, it's a different game now, we're in a different, a different ball game. We've won men now. Um, and, and I'll say on the 30th of July, you, you'll see me, and I'll be, be another win for me. And, that European title fight just around the corner, and I know the work Stephen's done and his dad's done for me. About time I paid them off with big titles. To be honest, and he beat me, but you know, we were kids like Derry Sards and, and stuff like that, and you know, a lot's changed in 13 years. You know, I've improved a lot, I'm, I'm a lot stronger, I'm a man, I can punch hard, you know, I'm a good boxer, clever boxer, so, and I'm fit. MS Beastlift is just delighted that we can sponsor a fight with local promoters, as I say, two outstanding local fighters, and it, I think it's going to be a great night.